Don't uh, take my word for this. Pick up a history book. Uh, this is in reference to the video, um, what, have a what Have Atheists or Atheism Contributed or are, are Contributing to Society? A video that was created by Jesus Freak. Um, and one of the things I think that's important is to understand the history of Western civilization in reference to this issue. Specifically, Western civilization went through a dark ages that was the, one of the worst dark ages that's ever occurred anywhere on the planet. And we came out of that dark ages into what effectively is the most prosperous and the most free societies uh, that have ever existed on the planet. So we went from the worst of the worst to the best. And we did this in about uh, a 300 year period. Uh, what happened? Well, what happened was that the dogmatic belief systems, specifically Christianity, were being challenged and this led to a secularization of society and in that milieu, in that context, in that environment, science was valued and science was used to create technology, to uh, create new medicine, and an improvement of society occurred uh, that was unprecedented and it led to the, the kind of uh, increase in the standard of living that we now enjoy. And so the question becomes, what happened? How did that secularization occur? And the way that it started was that a number of Enlightenment philosophers uh, in the Age of Reason began to question openly the dogmatic beliefs of Christianity. The majority of these people were free thinkers, the majority of them were skeptics, the vast majority of them were skeptics, and a large number of them were atheists. Voltaire, for instance, Diderot uh, are a number of uh, important examples. The vast majority of them that were not atheists or agnostics were in fact deists, which are people who believe in some kind of vague god uh, that's sort of associated with nature or is the same thing as nature, but the vast majority of them, the vast majority of them, over 90 some percent of them, were certainly not Christians and they were not religious. These people began in the universities and in their books to criticize and critique Christianity and to critique dogma itself, to critique faith itself. In other words, they critique the idea that truth can come from faith. And what's they, what they did is they posited, they forced the issue, they stated the idea that observation and rationality is where truth comes from. And when large numbers of people started to use rationality and observation, they started to come up with more and more facts about the world. They were able to use those facts technologically and our societies began to change, both culturally and technologically. And so most of what we have today are the cars that we have, the capacity to have uh, uh, good lives, uh, medicine to make us, uh, uh, to keep us healthy. All of those things are created by the Industrial Revolution, created by the Scientific Revolution, and that could not have occurred if it had not been for those philosophers that challenged the uh, status quo, and that status quo was dogmatism. What we have is a struggle within Western society that's still going on today between dogmatism and science, between skepticism and faith. The ultimate end of skepticism from a religious point of view is atheism. To be completely skeptical of faith and to be completely skeptical of what it is that faith leads us to is to be an atheist. And the majority of those people were free thinkers, atheists, and agnostics. They were the ones that challenged the dogmatic structure, and they were able to change, or they were able to stop, the stranglehold that dogma had over the cultures of Europe. And when that new non-dogmatic secular surround, that secular cultural context, that environment was created that not only valued science but paid for it, and funded it, uh, this created a changes technologically and changes uh, economically that are unprecedented on this earth. And that couldn't have happened without that environment. It couldn't have happened without that context. And now we have people today trying to claim 
that everything we have is created by Christianity. That is BS. Christianity was against the secularization of society. It was against the primacy of science and solving our problems in societies. It was against any kind of progress based on observation and rationality. It believed that faith, not rationality, not observation, had to be primary in life. If the Catholic Church, if all of the other Christian churches had won in that struggle between dogma and reason, between dogma and logic and observation, today we would not be where we are now. We would not have progressed as far, we may not have progressed at all, or another area of the planet might have progressed ahead of us, such as the Middle East maybe. Um, and so the freedoms that we have, which were also created and also written about and also uh, philosophized about and, and in fact created out of thin air by these same philosophers, those people did that in a environment created by the atheists, agnostics, deists, and other free thinkers. Thomas Paine, uh, the Enlightenment philosophers that our Constitution is derived from, the vast majority of them were agnostics and atheists. Thomas Paine was an atheist. Thomas Jefferson was a deist, and many people think he was a closeted atheist. Uh, atheist. Um, man who wrote our Constitution, Mr. Madison, was certainly, if you read any of his papers, uh, doubtful of Christianity. So the question that this video of Mr. Jesus Freak is about is, what does atheism give us? What has it given us? What does it contribute? And the answer is everything. Everything you hold dear, everything from this light bulb up here to this computer, to the medicines that you take that keep you from dying or that keep you from getting sick, everything was created by the scientific revolution which was made possible by cultural changes in the context that the this, that this scientific revolution occurred in, and those cultural changes were started by, created by, the philosophers that challenged the dogmatic structure of the society at that time. You can't get around it. So it's ironic to me that Jesus Freak and other people don't seem to grasp this. They seem to think that that the entire freedom-loving society that they're in is the result somehow of Christian goodness. Well, no, Christians were against democracy. The Catholic Church was against democracy. Most of the Christian churches that existed were against democracy initially. They were Johnny-come-latelys when it came to democracy, when it came to the rights of man. And so it is ironic to me that somehow the Enlightenment and the Age of Reason created the technology, created the science, and most of all, it created the context in which our freedoms could be created, and those philosophers were the ones who created those freedoms. And now Christianity is trying to take credit for it. Well, it can't. Well, this is Skeptic Sage with our History Lesson 101 complete. I hope I didn't bore you. And I'm reminding you, as always, that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And if I can get my hand up here, I wish everybody peace. <laughs>